Logging Network Activity At the recent table Device FTP Server This server IP address and private IP address and public IP address Syslog Server Private and public. This server and router number two. Only public IP address. This router. Create F FTP traffic. Activate the sniffing device. Click on a sniffer device. Okay, click here. Fice call. Turn on the power. Okay, click here. Go to graphical user interface and turn the sniffer service on. Okay, already enabled. The FTP and syslog packets entering the sniffer from router number two are being monitored. Now, down here you can see uh, FTP and syslog packets are being monitored. Remotely connect to the FTP server on PCB, go to desktop. This PC, PCB, go to desktop. Come on, prompt. Open an FTP session with FTP server using its public IP address. Okay. Use the public IP address 209.165.200.227. FTP. Enter. Username Cisco password also Cisco enter log it in upload a file to the FTP server okay dear command to build the current files store it on the remote FTP server okay dear to list the files on the server Okay, all these files upload the client info that txt file to the FTP server by entering the command put client info that txt. Okay, put client info that txt. Enter. Okay, transfer complete. Dear command and verify. Okay, dear command. Okay, this is the file in the server. Quit to close session. Quit. Investigate the FTP traffic. 
click the sniffer device and then click graphical user interface tap click the sniffer then graphical user interface click through some of the first FTP packets in the session be sure to scroll down to view the application layer protocol information in the packet details for each okay here are the packets this is the first okay go to application layer and the FTP command the user is Cisco the second the password also Cisco the third packet the type is binary the command type is binary uh, fourth packet the mode is passive okay fifth packet the command list when you use the dir command and the type is the command type is binary As mode passive passive mode and store is to upload the file the file is client info.txt send the FTP data and the command type is binary passive mode list again the contents of the server and finally close session with quit command what is the security vulnerability presented by FTP the FTP username and password are transmitted in clear text what should be done to mitigate this vulnerability use a secure file transfer protocol such as secure file transfer protocol SFTP view syslog messages remotely connect to router number 2 from PCB telnet to router number 2 telnet and use the public IP address of router number 2 use this IP 209.165.200.226 the username is admin uppercase and the password is cisco uppercase success router router number two okay the bug ip icmp okay okay to monitor the icmp protocol type logout at the prompt close telnet session logout okay generate and view the syslog messages click on the syslog server device and go to the services tab click the syslog service okay click here services syslog Verify that the service is on, okay, 
is on. These log messages will appear here. Okay, here. PCB open desktop tab and command prompt and ping router number two. PCB. Ping the public IP address of router number two. 226. Okay, click on Syslog server. PCB. Enter. Ready. Now you can see the syslog messages on the syslog server. Okay. Obviously, router number two is configured to send messages, syslog messages to the syslog server. So that's why you can see these messages on the server. Go to PCA and desktop and ping router number two. PCA desktop ping router two. 209.165.200.26. Six log server, enter. Okay. On the syslog server, investigate the logged messages. Okay, these are the logged messages. There should be four messages from PCA and four from PCB. One, two, three messages from PCB. The first message may fail. Okay. The, the messages from PCI are four. One, two, three, four. Can you tell which echo replies are from PCA and PCB from the destination addresses? Okay, look at the destination address 225 and source address 226. They should both have the same destination address because NAT is translating internal private addresses to a global public address. The hostname field in the syslog server display refers to the device that is the source of the syslog message and is the private IP address on router number two. Okay, on this interface is the host name, theory.1, this IP, theory.1, okay. Pink router 2 from PCC. Okay, and uh, now look at the destination address is the private address of PCC 4D.2 on this network 4D.2 this IP config this IP address 4D.2 the destination address. 
and the source is 226. So in this case, you can identify PCC by the private IP address 40.2. In the case of PCB and PCA, the destination address is 200.225 for both devices because NAT is implemented on this interface on router number one. This is a public IP address. Okay. What will be the destination address for the replies be? The address will be the internal private address of PCC. Thank you very much.